When you take your old electronics to a collection center or a recycling drive, perhaps you assume that it will be uh, properly treated and recycled. But that's not always the case. Uh, there are hundreds of e-waste recyclers in the U.S. and some of them just send this e-waste to developing countries, some of them sell them to junkyards. So now there is increasing awareness among consumers about the consequences of improper e-waste treatment and people just want to know that their e-waste is recycled properly. Uh, e-waste recyclers can ensure the accountability of their processes by adopting one of the two recycling standards, e-stewards or responsible recycling, which I will refer to as R2. So the difference between these two standards is uh, their stringency. E-stewards, unlike R2, forbids export of non-functioning equipment, incineration, use of prison labor, etc. And all of these requirements makes e-stewards more expensive. So it is not surprising that R2 has been more widely adopted. And in this research with my co-authors, we try to understand under what conditions firms, uh, recyclers, choose the more stringent recycling standard, e-stewards, over R2. So our findings show that the competition in the recycling market plays an important role in the choice of recycling standards. Specifically, when there is weak competition, then recyclers have no incentive to adopt the more stringent standard. But when the competition is intense, then recyclers will choose east towards the stringent standard, despite the fact that it will yield lower profits. Basically, recyclers will end up in a prisoner's dilemma. So the adoption of e-savers also depends on the size of recyclers as well as the cost disadvantage to the recycler. Uh, for example, for large recyclers, we find that they are more likely to adopt e-savers if the cost disadvantage is higher, but small and medium-sized uh, recyclers are more likely to adopt e-savers if the cost disadvantage is lower. So e-waste volumes will increase for the foreseeable future, contaminating environment unless properly recycled. E-waste recyclers play a critical role here, and our research helps them answer an important business question, which recycling uh, standards should they choose? Our findings also uh, provide several insights for NGOs and policymakers. For example, if you want to increase the adoption of e-stewards, then lower the barriers of entry to in this competition. Or in markets where mid and uh, small-sized recyclers operate, provide them with subsidies. <music>